Late last year, I stumbled on a mounting system called the Three Footed Monster, and I wanted to do a quick review because I've had this for a couple of months now. I really love it. I think it's super universal and handy if you wanna throw something like this on your motorbike and get some cool shots. So let's get into it. When I saw this online, the first thing I did was reach out to Mark, who is the brains behind Three Footed Monster. So Mark's got a background in filming motorsport and a lot of TV um, production out in the field. So he was obviously looking for something like this. I don't think it existed. And so he took about 10 years in uh, R&D phase um, with the Three Footed Monster refining, developing, and then throwing it on Kickstarter and getting it funded successfully. And now it's out in market, which is really awesome. I was super intrigued by it. It's a pretty interesting mount. It works with magnets on the bottom. So that's what these three feet do. They magnetize to um, any surface that obviously can be magnetized and they conform pretty well to it. So I threw this on my scrambler tank. I went for a ride into the Goma exhibition again. I thought it'd be a really great opportunity to give the mount a run and just kind of see what it could do. About 20 minutes in, I started to feel really confident that this thing wasn't going anywhere and it was holding my GoPro really well onto the tank. It's got these little feet and they're, um, mag they're, so they hold the magnets and then you've got the spring and a bit of a screw there that allow the feet to kind of conform and move to whatever surface you're um, putting the mount onto. My tank on the scrambler is a little bit rounded, but not, not crazy rounded, not like a Royal Enfield, but I think you would get uh, this mount on any tank really comfortably. I really loved it because riding into the city uh, and changing mounting position of the camera took a couple of seconds. So I was able to really easily remove the mount from one part of my tank, move it around, adjust the camera and then kind of ride off, which is really helpful when you're trying to film B-roll or you're trying to get different shots on the bike. I'm sure a lot of you know how painful it can be to have a bunch of different mounts for your GoPro or whatever you're using on your bike. So this kind of makes it easy to get a few different angles on the bike, which is really cool. Other thing I really loved about it was the ball mounting system. So you can tell Mark's really thought about this one. Um, a, a lot of the time when I'm shooting with my GoPro and I've got the GoPro standard mounts, I get a little bit frustrated with the fact that a lot of them just kind of move in a linear way. So they only move in one direction. Whereas the ball mount kind of allows you to loosen it and get around a few different angles. So this was handy so that I didn't pick up, you know, certain parts of the bike if I didn't want to in the shot as well. Um, the mounting little screw on the top is just your normal quarter inch um, camera screw. So this mounts and works with most standard cameras and, and other accessories. Um, the guys from Quadlock sent me um, this mounting kit. So this comes um, with the case of your choice um, or you can just get it separately. This is pretty cool because it goes straight on to um, the three footed monster and you can either throw that on a magnetic surface but the other thing I've been doing is just using it as a stand on the top of my um, camera tripod. So I put that on, I can take a couple of shots with the iPhone and then I can swap it out for um, my 6D camera as well, which is awesome. So you can just kind of use it as a stand as well because it's got a pretty heavy base and, and it tends to sit upright um, quite easily. So the other thing I did with this is throw it on the side of the fridge and I did a time lapse of brewing coffee as well. So it's not just for motos, you can definitely use it for plenty of other stuff. And it's kind of not just for cameras, I've seen these used to mount lights and microphones and pretty much anything you can really think of and that, um, that the mount can support the weight of. So if you had a few of these, you could definitely mic up and light up an area quite easily, especially if you're out on location and you've got um, street light poles and, and things that will accept um, magnets, which is pretty cool. 
One other important point I think to note is that with the feet, make sure that you're keeping them nice and clean. Obviously, if you're putting it on a motorbike tank, you don't want any grit being left on there and then uh, putting it on and scratching the paintwork as well. So keeping the feet clean is pretty important. I think that's probably the only thing you really, really need to be overly diligent with if you love your tank. If you're not bothered with your tank, then hey, whatever, throw this on uh, in any condition. But I like my tank, I wanted to keep my tank clean. So I, I just make sure there's no grit on the bottom before I mount it on the tank. These go for $149 for a single mount, but as you buy them in packs, the price drops as well. So I'll share the link um, in the description below so you know where to grab them. Please let me know if you end up grabbing one of the three-footed monsters after you've seen the review and send over any of your photos or videos that you've taken with it. I'd really love to see it and see how you guys are using it. Um, support Mark, he's an Aussie guy. They're a really great product and I'd be keen to see a lot more of these out on bikes on the weekend. So as always, stay friendly, ride daily, and I'll see you next time.